Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the future technologies. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Emerging technologies are technologies whose development, practical applications, or both are still largely unrealized, such that they are figuratively emerging into prominence, from a background of non-existence or obscurity. These technologies are new, such as various applications of biotechnology including gene therapy. Emerging technologies are often perceived as capable of changing the status quo. Emerging technologies are characterized by radical novelty, in application even if not in origins, relatively fast growth, coherence, prominent impact, and uncertainty and ambiguity. In other words, an emerging technology can be defined as a radically novel and relatively fast-growing technology characterized by a certain degree of coherence persisting over time and with the potential to exert a considerable impact on the socio-economic domains, which is observed in terms of the composition of actors, institutions and patterns of interactions among those, along with the associated knowledge production processes. Its most prominent impact, however, lies in the future, and so in the emergence phase is still somewhat uncertain and ambiguous. Emerging technologies include a variety of technologies such as educational technology, information technology, nanotechnology, biotechnology, cognitive science, psychotechnology, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Emerging technologies are those technical innovations which represent progressive developments within a field for competitive advantage. Converging technologies represent previously distinct fields which are, in some way, moving towards stronger interconnection and similar goals. However, the opinion on the degree of the impact, status, and economic viability of several emerging and converging technologies varies. For example, 3D printing. 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, has been posited by Jeremy Rifkin, and others as part of the Third Industrial Revolution. Combined with internet technology, 3D printing would allow for digital blueprints of virtually any material, product to be sent instantly to another person to be produced on the spot, making purchasing a product online almost instantaneous. Although this technology is still too crude to produce most products, it is rapidly developing and created a controversy in 2013 around the issue of 3D printed guns. Gene therapy Gene therapy was first successfully demonstrated, in late 1990, early 1991 for adenosine demonase deficiency, though the treatment was somatic that is, did not affect the patient's germline and thus was not heritable. This led the way to treatments for other genetic diseases and increased interest in germline gene therapy therapy affecting the gametes and descendants of patients. Between September 1990 and January 2014, there were around 2,000 gene therapy trials conducted or approved. Cancer vaccines A cancer vaccine is a vaccine that treats existing cancer or prevents the development of cancer in certain high-risk individuals. Vaccines that treat existing cancer are known as therapeutic cancer vaccines. There are currently no vaccines able to prevent cancer in general. On April 14, 2009, the Dendrion Corporation announced that their Phase 3 clinical trial of Provenge, a cancer vaccine designed to treat prostate cancer, had demonstrated an increase in survival. It received U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, approval for use in the treatment of advanced prostate cancer patients on April 29, 2010. The approval of Provenge has stimulated interest in this type of therapy. In vitro meat in vitro meat, also called cultured meat, clean meat, cruelty-free meat, schmeat, and test tube meat, is an animal flesh product that has never been part of a living animal with exception of the fetal calf serum taken from a slaughtered cow. In the 21st century, several research projects have worked on in vitro meat in the laboratory. The first in vitro beef burger, created by a Dutch team was eaten at a demonstration for the press in London in August 2013. There remain difficulties to be overcome before in vitro meat becomes commercially available. Cultured meat is prohibitively expensive but it is expected that the cost could be reduced to compete with that of conventionally obtained meat as technology improves. In vitro meat is also an ethical issue. Some argue that it is less objectionable than traditionally obtained meat because it doesn't involve killing and reduces the risk of animal cruelty, while others disagree with eating meat that has not developed naturally. Robotics Robotics is the branch of technology that deals with the design, construction, operation, and application of robots, as well as computer systems for their control, sensory feedback, and information processing. These technologies deal with automated machines that can take the place of humans in dangerous environments or manufacturing processes or resemble humans in appearance, behavior, and or cognition. 
A good example of a robot that resembles humans is Sophia, a social humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong-based company, Hansen Robotics which was activated on April 19, 2015. Many of today's robots are inspired by nature, contributing to the field of bio-inspired robotics. Stem cell therapy Stem cell therapy is an intervention strategy that introduces new adult stem cells into damaged tissue in order to treat disease or injury. Many medical researchers believe that stem cell treatments have the potential to change the face of human disease and alleviate suffering. The ability of stem cells to self-renew and give rise to subsequent generations with variable degrees of differentiation capacities offer significant potential for generation of tissues that can potentially replace diseased and damaged areas in the body with minimal risk of rejection and side effects. Distributed ledger technology Distributed ledger, or blockchain technology provides a transparent and immutable list of transactions. A wide range of uses has been proposed for where an open, decentralized database is required, ranging from supply chains to cryptocurrencies. Smart contracts are self-executing transactions which occur when predefined conditions are met. The aim is to provide security that is superior to traditional contract law and to reduce transaction costs and delays. The original idea was conceived by Nick Sabo in 1994, but remained unrealized until the development of blockchains. Medical field advancements with technology being faster with delivering data with cloud computing, the medical field is taking advantage of this by creating digital health records. Since doctors recently created digital health records, this can greatly improve the efficiency the hospital can have with patients. Hospitals will improve public health by being able to share valuable information about an illness, make the workflow more smooth by doctors being able to pull up records on a patient with ease, and even lower healthcare costs by not using as much paper. With the advancement of cloud computing, information can be delivered faster for doctors to help the medical field grow. Hypothetical technology is technology that does not exist yet but that could exist in the future. This article presents examples of technologies that have been hypothesized or proposed, but that have not been developed yet. Some examples of hypothetical technology are flying cars, jetpacks, teleportation or robot helpers. Artificial General Intelligence Artificial General Intelligence AGI, is a hypothetical artificial intelligence that demonstrates a human-like ability to learn. AGI is a machine which could do all human activities with the efficiency of a machine. It is a primary goal of artificial intelligence research and a common topic among science fiction writers and futurists. Artificial general intelligence is also referred to as strong AI, full AI or one that has the ability to perform general intelligent action. AGI is associated with traits such as consciousness, sentience, sapience, and self-awareness, which are observed in living beings. Mind uploading whole brain emulation, WBE, or mind uploading, sometimes called mind copying, or mind transfer, is the hypothetical process of copying mental content, including long-term memory, and self from a particular brain substrate and copying it to a computational, or storage device, such as a digital, analog, quantum-based, or software-based artificial neural network. The computational device could then run a simulation model of the brain information processing, such that it responds in essentially the same way as the original brain, i.e., indistinguishable from the brain for all relevant purposes, and experiences having a conscious mind. Mind uploading may potentially be accomplished by at least two methods, copy and transfer or gradual replacement of neurons. In the former method, mind uploading would be achieved by scanning and mapping the salient features of a biological brain, and then by copying, transferring and storing that information state into a computer system or another computational device. The simulated mind could be within a virtual reality or simulated world, supported by an anatomic 3D body simulation model. Alternatively, the simulated mind could reside in a computer that's inside, or connected to, a humanoid robot or a biological body. Space Elevator A space elevator is a proposed type of space transport system. Its main component is a ribbon-like cable, also called a tether, starting at or near a planetary surface and extending into space. It is designed to permit vehicle transport along the cable directly into space or orbit without the use of large rockets. An Earth-based space elevator would consist of a cable, with one end attached to the surface near the equator, and the other end in space beyond geostationary orbit, 35,800 km altitude. 
the competing forces of gravity, which are stronger at the lower end, and the outward-upward centrifugal force, which is stronger at the upper end, would result in the cable staying up under tension and stationary over a single position on Earth. Once deployed, the tether would be ascended repeatedly by mechanical means to orbit, and descended to return to the surface from orbit on Earth, with its relatively strong gravity on Earth, with its relatively strong gravity current technology is not capable of manufacturing tether materials that are sufficiently strong and light enough to build a space elevator. However, recent concepts for a space elevator are notable for their plans to use carbon nanotube or boron nitride nanotube based materials as the tensile element in the tether design. Rotating skyhook The rotating skyhook or momentum exchange tether is an idea related to the space elevator concept. It is one of the many proposed applications of space tethers, which include some propulsion systems. The tether is rotated from a heavy orbiting vehicle such that the far end, weighted with a docking station, periodically enters Earth's atmosphere. With the right timing, a fast aircraft can transfer cargo and passengers during the brief time the skyhook is at the bottom of its cycle and stationary relative to Earth's surface. Light sail A light sail is a proposed propulsion system that uses the momentum transferred to a sail by light impinging on it. A light sail could use sunlight to achieve interplanetary travel without carrying large quantities of onboard fuel. Just as a sailboat on Earth can tack into the wind, the light sail can be tacked against the direction of light for a return journey from the outer planets. What do you think of our video? Did you like our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.